Ciao fellow Vita comrades and welcome! New build of Flycast emulator has been just released and today we are checking out its installation, performance and enjoyability. So let's get cracking! First and foremost, huge thanks to the Renegatamente and Bitos for the hard work, it's greatly appreciated. We've been waiting for this moment for a while and now new build is finally here for us to enjoy. So let's get the party started with a quick word about the installation process. You must be on a 3.60 or 3.65 Enzo. You must install the new Kubridge plugin and reboot your Vita. And you must install the latest VPK and that's basically it. You should also stick to as few plugins as possible because new Kubridge requires a lot of memory to work. I will leave the setup guide down below. You also need to share the compiler plugin if you haven't got it already. There are also recommended settings, so make sure to check them out to yield the best results. For any more troubleshooting, please visit subreddit or discord. Now to the performance. I've picked games from new compatibility list. I've chosen from perfect category, playable and in-game plus. First is Marvel vs Capcom 2. It is in perfect category. And yeah, it runs very good. Audio is also spot on, frame rate stays about 25 FPS, so it's absolutely playable. Second, Miss Pac-Man, Maze Madness, also in the perfect category. The performance is amazing, cutscenes a bit lower, but gameplay full speed. By the way, if you wanna see more detailed description of the given game's performance, just go to the new Flycast compatibility list and click on a game, and it will show you all the necessary settings to yield the best results. Third, Gigawing, runs also very good, perfectly playable. Now let's look at the playable category, with the first one being Sonic Adventure 2. The game was running a bit on the slower side, however, when you put there a 30 FPS patch, it is absolutely playable. Big up to Espiro that started working on these 30 FPS patches that will allow a lot more games to be playable with Flycast Vita. You can find the patch also when you click on a game in the compatibility list. Next game that could take advantage of this 30 FPS patch is House of the Dead 2. It runs on the slower side, there is quite a lot of stuttering. I tried to mess with settings, but it didn't help much. I also lowered the resolution. It did run better, but clearly it looked worse, so there are some compromises. Either way, I think if you are dedicated enough and you mute the audio, it's kinda playable. 
plus the first level is the slowest one, so keep that in mind. Ikaruga is next in playable category. It runs decently enough, there are some slowdowns when you are not in the gameplay and uh, you are transitioning from one scene to another. Resident Evil Code Veronica, also a very promising title, cutscenes on the lower side, gameplay a bit better, around 20 FPS when there isn't much going on and when there is, uh, it's a bit lower. I also had to try the Seaman, the hilarious Dreamcast exclusive game, and as expected it was asking for microphone, there is a built-in microphone on the Vita, but the game doesn't recognize it. I think it would be mind-blowing if someone would figure out a way how to run Seaman on the PS Vita. I would love to play it. Last game I've tried was Ill Bleed, also Dreamcast exclusive, and it is in-game plus, and it runs, well, you can see how it runs, it's not as bad. All in all, I'm blown away by this amazing Flycast update. Of course, I'll be trying more games in the future. Plus, I'll keep a close eye on the patches and whatnot. One more time, huge thanks to developers, great work. Thanks to you for watching, give this video a like, subscribe, join, check the Discord. You'll have a good one and peace out. Level 1 security door breach. Emergency formation. Intercept intruder.
three security door breach. Intruder has breached sections three through eight. Get him.